Hey, this is Sam with Cycle, and today I'm going to show you how to route Reaper's audio to Cycle so you can instantly get amazing audio visuals. Let's jump right into it. First, in Reaper, navigate to the Preferences menu by selecting the Options button on the top left toolbar, and then going to Preferences at the bottom. You will be greeted with the Preferences page for Reaper. Head to the Devices section of this menu. Here you will see your audio driver selection, and Inputs and Outputs. For Windows, you want to select the WASAPI driver. Now here is where we need to download a virtual audio cable. They are free and really easy to install. Once you have your cable downloaded, under the Output section, choose Line 1. Now sign into your Cycle account at Cycle.com. Then click on one of the visual engines on the left hand side. In each visual engine, you can select Line 1 as your audio input. You're all set. For users on Mac, we need to download a program called Loopback, which allows us to route our core audio to programs like Cycle. Once you have Loopback installed, create a new audio device. Now, within Reaper, head to your audio device's preferences and select the default output. Loopback is now receiving audio from Reaper. Within Cycle, we can now select our audio input as Loopback's audio device. Now, let's go over Cycle settings and options. We also have a full guide linked in the description. Make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on our videos for more tutorials and demos. To get started, take a look at the top right of the main screen. When you click on the settings button at the top right, you will see a list of menus that allow you to customize your audio visuals. First is your playlist tab. This is where you can create playlists and choose visuals from a wide selection of amazing presets. You would name your playlist here, and then click on Create Playlist to get started. Don't stress about naming your playlist though, as you can always come back and rename playlists you've already created. Next, head over to the Available Visuals tab. Here, you can preview any visual by hovering your mouse over it and speaking into your computer's microphone. As you preview the visuals, you will be able to see their standard behavior. Once you decide you want to include a visual in your playlist, simply click on the preview image and add it to the playlist. You can add as many visuals as you'd like to use. Lastly, in the Active Visuals tab, you can preview your playlist, reorder the loading sequence by dragging and dropping the visuals, and remove any visual by clicking the small X at the top right of each preset. Next are your watermark settings. This is where you can upload up to 9 different watermarks or logos. For example, if you're doing a set with 9 different DJs, you'll be able to upload all of their logos here. And once we get the visual feed going, you can swap between each logo without stopping the visualizer. You can adjust the size and position of each watermark to ensure they load exactly how you want. Don't forget to save your watermark settings. Now, let's go over the Frequency Reactiveness tab. Here, you can set an EQ to tell Cycle which frequencies to respond to. For example, if you only want the visualizer to respond to the high frequencies, you can set that here. You can upload an MP3 to preview how the EQ is going to respond to your audio in real time. You can create and save multiple frequency reactiveness presets that can be easily loaded as you are switching between songs, genres, etc. Finally, you have your visualizer behavior settings. Here you can set the frame rate, duration, and transition times of your visual feeds. While the visual frame rate can be set up to 244 frames per second, the performance will be limited by the hardware you are running Cycle on. The duration setting controls how long each visual will be displayed on screen before the engine automatically moves to the next visual in the playlist or queue. The transition setting controls how long the blend effect will persist when the visuals are automatically changed within the milk drop feed. Again, don't forget to save your settings. Now that you know how to create your visual playlists and route your audio, we can set up our visual feed on the left hand side. In the 3JS feed, you can select any visual playlists you've created. In both feeds, you can also select any audio presets you've created in the Visualizer Reactiveness tab. Now we are ready to visualize our audio. Simply hit Start Visualizer to instantly get mesmerizing visuals. Once you have your visualizer going, you have access to a bunch of hotkeys so you can customize your visual experience without having to stop the visualizer. A list of the hotkeys is shown at the top right of the main screen. Enter will lock the current visual in place. Space will cycle to the next visual. Backspace will cycle to the previous visual. H will hide the toolbar at the top. 
L will toggle your watermarks on or off. And 0 through 9 is how you cycle through all your uploaded watermarks. As a free user, you can enjoy all of Cycle's features without even having to enter your credit card details. This gives you absolute control to set up Cycle exactly how you want to use it and make sure our solution is right for you. Once you are ready to record or stream your visualized music, all you have to do is click on Start Visualizer to get it to work. If you plan on using Cycle frequently, I highly recommend looking at our subscription plans as those provide the best value. Once subscribed, the Cycle watermark will disappear. The ability to activate your own watermark logos will be enabled. Subscriptions renew monthly or annually. Depending on the cadence you choose and are commitment-free, you can cancel your subscription at any time. And that's it! Now you know how to route Reaper's audio to Cycle, so with one button, you can instantly get mesmerizing visuals from your music. Make sure to like the video if you've learned something, and subscribe to see more videos just like this one.